Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I want to take a closer look and do a review of this uh, Parkside 800 watt jigsaw. So I picked this up recently in my local little store when I was out shopping and I paid for it with my own money. And I was just looking for something reasonably powerful. 800 watts is pretty good for a, a jigsaw and it's really cheap as well. So let's take a closer look at it. So here is the unit. So this, uh, this particular jigsaw has a pendulum action, which means you can change the position of the blade and you can actually turn it up this way to give a sort of pendulum action to cut the wood. So it's easier to cut thick pieces of wood uh, because it sort of pushes the sawdust out of the way as opposed to sort of um, your regular jigsaw which only goes up and down and they tend to clog up if they're cutting wood that's quite thick. So it's a pendulum action. The model is the PSTD 800B2. So starting at the top, um, we have speed settings here, all the way up to six, so one to six. So you can start off slow and work your way up if needed. We have um, a safety switch here. It's a pretty standard kind of safety switch. Um, there is a, an Allen key here, which you use not to um, put the blade in, but to adjust this bottom plate here. There's some uh, bolts here, and you undo those. And when you undo them, it allows for this bottom plate to like, pivot. So at the moment it's, uh, it's, it's flat, but you can do beveled cuts, you can pivot it one way and uh, cut at an angle. Okay, so it also has these adjustable settings here to adjust the action. So you've got straight down and then you can adjust the blade and the blade will turn. Again, that is, that is very good for thicker pieces of wood. And you have a, a dust extraction port at the back. And there is um, a button here for that to turn that on and off. And it also has a laser light at the front, which you can turn on and off, which will just show where the blade is cutting. And to get the laser adjusted properly, there is a screw here. So when you first buy it, you might think, why is there a screw that looks a bit loose? But this is actually to adjust the, um, the laser. So you can adjust it left and right to get it perfectly straight. So if we look closely here, you can see on the label, it's an 800 watt device. Okay, so if we have a look at the box, it is 800 watts of power. As I say, that's quite powerful for a, a budget jigsaw. I think I paid between 20 to 25 pounds for this. <coughs> Excuse me. And usually you don't get that kind of power, so that's great. And we've got max cutting depth, 80 millimeters, so eight millimeters of metal, but 80 millimeters, so eight centimeters of wood which is pretty deep. Um, the current jigsaw that I have, it's good, but it's probably only good for sort of a couple of centimeters max uh, until it gets quite tough to get through the, the material because it doesn't have a pendulum action like this one does. So you can see there my old jigsaw um, struggling to get through some thick MDF material. It's great for thinner pieces of wood, like five millimeter plywood, things like that. So that pendulum action really helps to get through the wood rather than just jabbering up and down. It sort of eats away like this kind of action. Features, are, as it says here, three stage pendulum action. So you can increase the angle and uh, fine cut adjustment. It does bevel cuts up to 45 degrees, which is great. Um, I've never used a jigsaw for doing bevel cuts, but it's always good to have the option. 
Golden Zaid, it has a laser, as it says here, laser light. Never used a jigsaw with a laser light either, but for the price, you can't complain. I mean, it comes with all these extra features, which is great. And accessories included. So you get three blades, and one, uh, three wood blades, one metal blade, so four blades. And uh, you get a fence attachment, and uh, the Allen key, and the reducer piece for your extraction. And it has a three meter cable. The the blades are Swiss made. And uh, it says it has a three year warranty as well. So now if we take a look at what's inside the box. As I say, I bought this uh, recently when I was out shopping. Um, I can't resist when I see a, a deal when I'm out shopping. So this isn't a sponsored video. I just picked this up. Um, I wasn't planning to buy it, but I saw it and for the features that it has, I thought um, it was an excellent price. So very attractive, very attractive item for the price. So if we look in the box, we have the fence, and that allows you to um, it gives you a guide when you're cutting to cut straight lines. So you would put that through here, and you can put that on either side. And it has these nuts here. That will lock down. It's a bit stiff because it's new. I'll just get that on to show you. So you can adjust it to the kind of width you want. And you can imagine a, a board of wood will go along here. And then you can cut straight lines with this jigsaw. Which usually with a, a conventional jigsaw that I used to have like in the old days. You just have to do it by eye. But with this you can use the fence. Again probably something you only get on higher end products so to get this for a really cheap price it's excellent so it comes with that it's got uh, the extraction piece here I don't currently use extractors so I probably won't use that and it comes with the blades I think this model has been out for quite a while um, I think it, it's been revised slightly the design recently and it has um, the, the more recent model that little do it has a different it's, it's pretty much the same but it has a different grip instead of this conventional grip it has like a barrel grip where this part isn't here and you actually hold on to this kind of area but um, yeah it's just a, a design change uh, one is no better than the other they are pretty much the same model same machine spec wise so you have the four blades here so we have uh, two for clean wood so for nice neat wood and then we've got one for rough wood with bigger teeth on it and one for metal and they have the bayonet style fitting where you just pop them in rather than having to tighten them in and it also comes with the instruction manual and what's good about the instruction manual, it's got a code here, barcode, and you can uh, check out the PDF manual on your phone or uh, tablet. So now I want to fit a blade. So we've got this plastic protective cover here that comes away. And then where you fit the blade here, you have this piece that turns, which enables you to put the blade in. So if you pull it up, you can then get the blade in and let it lock back down again and the blade is in so we have an option of using a light to highlight what you're cutting you can turn that off you can have a laser as well or you can have neither and I'll just show you the, the speed so it's set on at number one number one all the way up to six so if anybody's interested to know how much this weighs I'm just going to quickly weigh it
and you can see the white there. 2,222 grams. So that is around 2.2 kilograms. Okay, so I actually bought this jigsaw earlier in the year, maybe five or six months ago now, and I've been using it ever since. And here is an example of uh, me cutting out a recent project that I did, and that was um, a heart-shaped decoration. And uh, to make it, I used some pretty thick old pine, um, which was like a reclaimed shelf. So it put it to the test. It's probably over two centimeters thick. So what I did was I just took my time on a slow setting and uh, used the pendulum. And I was pleasantly surprised that it cut through this with ease. And uh, with my old jigsaw, um, there'd be a lot, it would still do the job, but it would judder quite a bit more, and the blade would tend to get clogged up with sawdust. Uh, and with this pendulum action, it kind of pushes the sawdust out of the way. So, uh, in my opinion, it's much, it's much better to use. And you can see that the black. Um, guard at the bottom which is made of plastic I actually removed it to do this it just it was just easier for me to see everything and I'm not using the laser because I'm outside and there's plenty of sunlight and you can just see now how the because it's a pendulum action it blasts all of the sawdust kind of frontwards rather than it just falling right where you're cutting So I was pretty pleased with the uh, the grip, the weight, just how it works in general. So then, would I recommend this saw? Yes, I would. It's uh, it's powerful, smooth. It doesn't make your wrist ache. It has a nice pendulum action. It's got a laser, if you want that, to uh, guide your cuts. Um, it's quite well made. It feels quite chunky and heavy duty. Um, I think it's going to last a while. And for the price, I think it's a bargain when compared to other jigsaws of that price range. So yes, I would recommend it. I'm happy with this saw. Um, it's better than the one I had before, even though the one I had before was cordless. Um, it was a non-pendulum jigsaw, so it only had the up and down kind of motion. It didn't have a pendulum action like this, so it, after a while it would make your wrist sort of ache a bit. So if you're uh, looking to buy a jigsaw and you don't want to spend a lot, I'd, I'd recommend getting one such as this one with a pendulum action. So uh, if you found this video useful, please remember to like and comment and also consider subscribing for more videos. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.